What does ASAP stand for? Army Substance Abuse Program. What is the mission of ASAP? To strengthen the overall fitness and effectiveness of the Army's total workforce and to enhance the combat readiness of its soldiers. What is meant by deglamorization of alcohol? Personnel will not promote any function glamorizing the use of alcohol through drinking contests, games, initiations, or awarding of alcoholic beverages as prizes in contests. What Army regulation covers ASAP? AR 600-85 Is ASAP participation mandatory when command referred? Participation is mandatory for all soldiers who are command referred. What will happen to soldiers who fail to participate in or fail to respond to rehabilitation? Soldiers who fail to participate or respond to rehabilitation will be processed for administrative separation. What are ways a soldier can be identified as having a substance abuse problem? Voluntary, commander, supervisor identification, biochemical identification, medical identification, investigation or apprehension. What are the objectives of biochemical testing? Deter soldiers, early identification, assess the security, fitness, good order and discipline, monitor rehabilitation of those enrolled, collect data on substance abuse. Commanders may direct drug testing under what conditions? Unit inspections, search and seizure or probable cause, competence for duty, rehabilitation, mishap or safety inspection, consent, new entrant, medical. All ASAP referrals are accomplished by the commander or first sergeant using what form? DA 8003 referral form. Can soldiers enrolled in ASAP re-enlist? Enrolled soldiers are not allowed to re-enlist. Are soldiers who are command referred to ASAP flagged? Yes, in accordance with AR 600-8-2. What does ACS stand for? Army Community Service. What does the ACS symbol stand for? The heart is giving, the cross is help, the gyroscope is stability. What is the ACS mission statement? Facilitate commander's ability to provide comprehensive, coordinated, and responsive services that support readiness of soldiers, civilian employees, and their families. What Army regulation covers ACS? AR 608-1 How is ACS staffed for the most part? By volunteers. What is the motto of ACS? Self-help, service, and stability. Who qualifies for ACS? All active duty and retired military personnel and families, National Guard and Army Reserve on active duty, Army appropriated fund and non-appropriated fund employees and their families, family members of POWs or MIA personnel, surviving family members of personnel who died on active duty. What can you do to help out ACS? Donate stapled food stuff to food lockers, usable household goods, and volunteer your time. What regulation covers ACEs? AR 621-5 What regulation covers Army Learning Centers? AR 621-6 What are the goals of ACEs? Develop confident, competent leaders, support the enlistment, retention, and transition of soldiers, provide self-development opportunities for soldiers and adult family members. What does TABE stand for? 
test of adult basic education. How much of your tuition does the tuition assistance grant pay? 100%. Name some federal financial aid programs available to soldiers through ACES. Pell Grant, Perkins Loan, Guaranteed Student Loans. What are some services offered by ACES? Basic Skills Education Program, Advanced Skills Education Program, High School Completion Programs, Service Member Opportunity Colleges Associates Degree, Veterans Educational Assistance Program, Skill Recognition Programs, Command Language Programs, Defense Activity for Non-Traditional Education Support, Education Counseling Services, Learning Resource Centers. What soldier development programs does ACS provide? Functional academic skills training, high school completion program, English as a second language, mission related language, mission required language, MOS improvement training. What does DANTE stand for? Defense activity for non-traditional education support. What does Dante's do? Dante's provides standardized testing services free to military personnel. Family members and civilians may take Dante's tests, but must pay for each test taken. Soldiers with a GT score of less than 110 should be referred to what? BCEP, soldiers with a GT score less than 100 are normally automatically eligible. Soldiers with a GT between 100 and 110 may be command referred. What does SOC stand for? Service Members Opportunity Colleges. What does SOCAD stand for? Service Members Opportunity College Army Degrees. AER closely coordinates with what other organization? The American Red Cross. What is AER? AER is a private, nonprofit organization to collect and hold funds to relieve the stress of service members of the Army and their dependents. AER provides emergency financial assistance to soldiers and their families in time of distress. Who does AER help? Soldiers on extended active duty and their dependents, members of the reserve components of the Army on continuous active duty for more than 30 days and their dependents, soldiers retired from active duty because of longevity or physical disability or retired upon reaching age 60 and their dependents, widows or orphans of soldiers who died while on active duty or after they retired. How are monetary contributions made to AER? Cash, check, or allotment? When is the AER annual fund campaign held Army-wide? March 1 through May 15. How does AER provide financial assistance? AER provides financial assistance by either a loan without interest, a grant, or a combination of both. What is the purpose of AER? AER provides emergency financial assistance to soldiers and their families in time of distress. What is the dollar limit on AER loans? There is no dollar limit. AER assistance will meet your emergency need. What is the AER motto? Helping the Army take care of its own. How is AER funded? Through voluntary contributions from soldiers, 
through unsolicited contributions, repayments of loans, and income from investments. What is the purpose of the Army Sexual Assault Prevention and Response Program? The Sexual Assault Prevention and Response Program reinforces the Army's commitment to eliminate incidents of sexual assault through a comprehensive policy that centers on awareness and prevention, training and education, victim advocacy, response, reporting, and accountability. The Army's policy on sexual assault prevention and response program applies where and when. Both on and off post during duty and non-duty hours to working, living, and recreational environments. What are the goals of the Army Sexual Assault Prevention and Response Program? Create a climate that minimizes sexual assault incidents, which impact Army personnel, Army civilians, and family members. And if an incident should occur, ensure that victims and subjects are treated according to Army policy. Create a climate that encourages victims to report incidents of sexual assault without fear. Establish sexual assault prevention training and awareness programs to educate soldiers. Define sexual assault. Sexual assault is a crime defined as intentional sexual contact characterized by use of force, physical threat, or abuse of authority or when the victim does not or cannot consent. Sexual assault includes what acts? Rape, non-consensual sodomy, indecent assault, attempts to commit these acts. More than half of sexual assault offenses include what? Alcohol. Prevention of sexual harassment is whose responsibility? The commander's responsibility. If someone has been sexually assaulted, to whom may they report the crime? Their chain of command, medical treatment facility, military police, criminal investigation division, chaplains, social work services, family advocacy, legal services. Army Regulation 27-10 outlines the rights of crime victims. What are they? The right to be treated with fairness, dignity, and respect for privacy. The right to be protected from the accused offender. The right to be notified of court proceedings. The right to be present at all public court proceedings related to the assault unless the court determines that testimony by the victim would be materially affected if the victim heard other testimony at trial or for other good cause. The right to talk to the attorney for the government in the case. What are the categories of sexual harassment and give some examples? Verbal examples include sexual jokes using sexually explicit profanity, threats, sexually oriented cadences. Nonverbal examples include staring at someone, blowing kisses, winking, or licking one's lips in a suggestive manner. Physical contact examples include touching, patting, pinching, bumping, grabbing, cornering, or blocking a passageway, kissing, and providing unsolicited back or neck rubs. What does EO stand for? Equal Opportunity. What is an EOR? Equal Opportunity Representative. What rank should an EOR normally be? Sergeant Promotable through First Lieutenant. What Army regulation covers the EO program? AR 600-20 Chapter 6. What are the goals of the EO program? 
provide equal opportunity for military personnel and family members, both on and off post and within the limits of the laws of locality, states, and host nations. Create and sustain effective units by eliminating discriminatory behaviors or practices that undermine teamwork, mutual respect, loyalty, and shared sacrifice of the men and women of America's Army. What are the three policies each commander is required to publish and post on equal opportunity? Written command policy statements for equal opportunity, prevention of sexual harassment, equal opportunity complaint procedures. Define the term ethnic group. A segment of the population that possesses common characteristics and a cultural heritage based on some degree on faith or face, shared traditions, values or symbols, literature, folklore, or music, an internal sense of distinctiveness, or an external perception of distinctiveness. Find the term racism. Any attitude or action of a person or institutional structure that subordinates a person or group because of skin color or race. Describe minority group. Any group distinguished from the general population in terms of race, religion, color, gender, or national origin. What is sexual harassment? Sexual harassment is a form of gender discrimination that involves unwelcome sexual advances, requests for sexual favors, and other verbal or physical conduct of a sexual nature between the same or opposite genders. What is an affirmative action plan? A management document that consists of statements of attainable goals and timetables. This document is required for all Army organizations, commands, and agencies, and activities down to brigade level. It is designed to achieve EO for all military personnel. What action does the Army take against off-post activities, including housing and public accommodations, which arbitrarily discriminate against members of the Army and their dependents? Off-limits or off-limits sanctions may be applied. Who is the primary source for solving EO complaints? Your unit chain of command. What does AFAP stand for? Army Family Action Plan. What regulation covers the Army Family Action Plan? AR 608-47. What are some activities that the American Red Cross offers? CPR instruction, blood drives, swimming lessons, communication services, financial assistance, counseling and referral services, transplantation services, AIDS education, health and safety services. How is the ARC staffed for the most part? By volunteers. What Army regulation covers the Red Cross? AR 930-5. What regulation covers the Army Retention Program? AR 601-280. What are some reasons that a soldier may be ineligible for reenlistment? If the soldier is barred or flagged and if the soldier is enrolled in ASAP. What is an SRB? Selective Reenlistment Bonus.
describe a bar to reenlistment. Administrative action initiated by the commander to prevent a soldier from reenlisting or reentering the service. Who can initiate a bar to reenlist? Any commander in the soldier's chain of command. Who is responsible for the Army safety program? It is the responsibility of each soldier. What accounts for the majority of accidents? Carelessness. Accidents are reported in accordance with what regulation? AR 385-40. What AR covers safety? AR 385-10. What regulation covers the total Army sponsorship program? AR 600-8-8. What are the six elements of the sponsorship program? DA Form 5434, Welcome Letter, ACS Relocation Readiness Services, Reception, Orientation, and Processing. What does the BOSS program provide? It provides opportunities for active duty soldiers with an emphasis on single and unaccompanied soldiers to participate in physical, self-development, leisure, and educational related services. What does DEER stand for? Defense Enrollment Eligibility Reporting System. What is DEERS used for? To obtain dependent ID cards for eligible spouse and children. What does NCODP stand for? Non-Commissioned Officer Development Program. NCODP is typically managed by whom? The Command Sergeant Major or Senior NCO in the organization. What Army Regulation covers NCODP? AR 350-1, Chapter 4.